as you can see my room was a bit of a tip beforehand I tried to leave it until I'd made it super messy just so the before and after was even more impressive I'd also had a big clear out of stuff I wanted to take to the charity shop so that's why there's loads of stuff all over the floor You'll have to ignore Sarah's little head in a minute as well. She was still in bed while I took this video, as you can see. And there's Poppy. And this corner in particular is going to have one of the biggest transformations, I think, because it's going to turn into like a little dressing room corner and no longer is going to be the dumping ground where all of my random stuff ends up, basically. One of the next things I did and something I definitely recommend to anyone who's wanting to decorate a room is go on Pinterest and just have a little look at some of the ideas that are on there, furniture inspiration, some of the tips that they've got on little things you can do to sort of spruce up pieces that might be a little bit more inexpensive. But what I did realise was that I literally had no idea really what colours I wanted and I needed to look round some things in person before I could fully decide. But what I did know is that I wanted a dark feature wall in my room and I wanted the rest of the walls white just to open it up a little bit because I think my blue and the wallpaper just got a bit sort of claustrophobic for me. We're just doing a sugar soap now over this wall. Can't really see a lot, but it's just a case of getting any last bits of residue off from the wallpaper. Next up was to pick the paint. So this is a Dulux paint I'm trying out here. And I just wanted to find like the perfect shade of dark grey for my room because I just couldn't decide what kind of vibe to go for. At first I decided I wanted it like really, really, really dark. And then when I started to test them out, I think I realised that a middle ground was probably the best idea, so we went for some Dulux ones and also some B&Q Owen paint as well, just so we could try a few different ones out. Now I don't know if you can see properly on the video, but for this bit we used a paint that goes from like pink to white. So when you first paint it on, you can see where you've painted and where you've not painted. And this was an absolute godsend. Time for coat two. Decided to go for this Hamilton shade in the end. I thought it was a really nice dark grey without being too overwhelming and I love how it turned out. As you can see it painted over the pink really easily but we did do two coats just to be on the safe side just so it looks like really rich. It's a bit of a weird one with my room, so my fourth wall has mostly wardrobe on it, so I could sort of decide whether I wanted to carry on the feature wall colour or go white, and I didn't really want to do either, so we sort of came up with the idea of having the grey up about as high as a desk was going to be, and then white for the rest of it to keep it from feeling too cramped and dark in the corner. So Sarah's just filling in the gap here that we ended up creating by putting tape across. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think this is one of my favorite bits of the room, to be honest with you, because it's just a bit different, isn't it? Look at that. 
That is beautiful. Oh, dun dun dun. <laughs> If anyone's wondering why we suddenly changed outfits halfway through this, it's not because we were lazy, it's just because we actually managed to build the desk backwards, so we'd managed to put that cross bit on the front or something and basically a chair wouldn't have been able to fit underneath it and it was just a nightmare. Actually, actually looks like it's meant to as well. Completed it, mate. Completed it. Is it six? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> <laughs> One for luck. Oh, that would be fabulous, look. Isn't that good? And even if you didn't have that one in there, that doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> 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 Idiot sandwich! <laughs> Excuse me, vlogging. <laughs> okay, team. <laughs> right. So we're putting the, the big one on first, but that's why. Oh, it says black brown. <laughs> right, mind yourself. I think I'm just going to have to fire myself from this uh, right. excavation because in. apparently I'm not very good at this. Should we just part of it as well? Thank God for my team. <laughs> Quidsworth. Ranger Quidsworth. <sighs> Very successful trip. All in one car. All in one car. And um, looking forward to putting them all up when we get home. There you go. <laughs> nice and then we're going to be ordering the bed and <laughs> Sarah keeps just falling in. <laughs> ordering the bed and the mattress when we get home. <laughs> it's the GC, <laughs> the SG, and the EG. <laughs> Just to give you an indication of what I actually bought from Ikea and what the prices were for each of the items, I've also got two of the chest of drawers and also two of the wall lamps as well. Time to get this built. So. <laughs> Next up was to decide whereabouts I wanted my mirror to go so that when I'm getting ready I can actually see myself in it because I am short as hell, as you can see here. We look like we're off to a white party, don't we? <laughs> go to you. It's go to you. What are you doing? <laughs> <Just> shelving. Mm. <laughs> 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 uh, I can't be asked for <laughs> you. Mm-hmm. I swear this one's not very good for me. I don't know, maybe it just comes off. Yeah. 